Good afternoon to Colby in Denmark and a warm welcome to Vitaphone showroom. My name is Holger Selenka, I'm Area Sales Manager at Vitaphone. Besides me today, my colleague Mr. Carsten Arman, he is Field Service Engineer at Vitaphone. He will join us today through the webinar and he will answer the questions this afternoon to our webinar Importance of Service and Maintenance for a Corona Treatment System. But before we start with our webinar today, please allow me a few words to our Corona Treatment System, which is the standard in the industry worldwide uh, for this application. This system here, besides me, is the most powerful Corona Treatment System, which is equipped with two or up to eight ceramic electrodes and is available in a working width of 350 mm up to 860 mm. It could be uh, available in a single side application or in a double side application to fulfill all the needs of our customers' applications. Combined with the powerful generator, which is here next to me, in a powerful um, equipment which is available in a size of 1 kW up to 10 kW combined with the remote control will fulfill on a small scale, on a small footprint and could be adapted to more or less all possible uh, machines around the world and could be adapted to flexo printing machines, digital printing machines and converting machines very easily and could be uh, um, implemented very easy and uh, installed on a simple, simple way. The generator is also available with all kinds of interfaces. So it could be adapted to the main machine and could be run in a very smart, smooth way to uh, set all the parameters together with the main machine in an in easy way to run the process very smart and simple. Moving now and turning now to our today's topic, talking about service and maintenance, I will discuss this point now together with my colleague, Mr. Carsten, uh, and we have a, a few questions, but later on we have also the possibility in our Q&A session and we are waiting for your questions about the topic of today and we are glad to answer these questions later on. But now we have a couple of questions prepared and we want to talk about this together with Carsten. Carsten, first question about to install a Corona treatment system in a printing press which could be the best possibility to set up the system? The, the Corona system can be set up in any way, uh, 90 degree turned, 180 upside down, in, in any possible way it, it can be installed. Yeah. And how could I fit the system to the printing press? Only on one side or it could be fitted also on uh, both sides? It can be fitted both in the rear and in both the, the rear and front and everything, depending on the, on the system and where it's needed. Very nice. And the system, where should I place the system in the printing line? Before the web cleaner or afterwards the web cleaner? What did you recommend? To we us? always recommend to install the web cleaner first and then the Corona unit, so you always have a clean material to run with. This Corona station, could I run conductive and non-conductive materials without any changeover? As it's set up here with ceramic electrodes and a stainless steel backing roller, it can run both uh, conductive and non-conductive materials, yes. Okay, very interesting. And the system, why do we use a stainless steel backing roller in this uh, narrow web Corona station? The, the stainless steel roller is installed because the aluminum rollers tend to corrode and be damaged too fast for our high standards. So therefore we use the, the, the stainless steel. So the, back, the backing roller will have, a, because of the stainless steel, a longer durability and lifetime? Yes. Yeah, so and we increase the, the lifetime with the yes, backing roller? Yes, and, and we ease the maintenance of, oh, okay. of the roller yeah. as well. Oh, very yes. interesting. That sounds good. That sounds good. And, and why do we have two side plates on the Corona station? 
We have two side plates on it because when the, the cassette is not in, we still have a, a very stable and steady system. Okay, okay. And I saw, I saw we have a very thick high HP cable connected between the generator and the station. What is the reason for this uh, cable? The, the very thick high HP cable is a high power cable and a very high power running through it. Therefore, we need a very thick and isolated cable. And also, it lays often next to computer cables and the high frequency can um, get in and in with interference with other okay. signals. So okay. therefore we have a very yeah. large cable yeah. with a very large yeah. shield on it so it won't okay. bother any other signals. And, and what is important to improve regularly before we start the system for example? Is there any advice which you can give to us today? Yeah. I would say every time you start a new job you verify that the material has the right dying levels so you're always sure you, you adapt and your system to the material you're running. Okay, okay. so it means before I start my job, testing the nine level, a short view into the system because it's very easy to do and to give me a, 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 take a, a short look, everything is well and everything is okay. This is the recommendation as well, yes. besides testing the yes. nine level. Yes. Okay. The, the customer uses a lot of time uh, yeah. setting up the rest of the system. Yeah. Um, and it takes two minutes to, okay. to test the, the Corona system okay. as well. So. Good advice. And how often I have to clean the Corona station? What is your recommendation? I would say a, a easy clean once yep. a week. Uh, to, to look in the, in the drawer is, is fairly easy and say, yes. is it dirty or not? Yep. And if it's dirty, give it a, a clean. And then once a month, give it a thorough clean with the isolators and electrodes and yeah. the suction chamber and everything. This depends which type of material, which kind of substrate I, I run between a flexible material like a, a film or paper. Is there a difference in between? Yes, the paper has a tendency to dust a lot. Yeah. So therefore that needs a little more maintenance okay. and more more looking after. Okay, and if you talking about the cleaning process, how can I clean the ceramic electrodes off the cartridge when you pull out the cartridge? If, if you pull out the cartridge and you can clean both sides of the electrodes with a cloth, uh, non-metallic tools, Yes. Um, we don't want scratches and everything like that. Yes. On, so you use the air pistol for example at first and then you take a rag or a glove and then you, you clean the electrodes. Yeah, yes. and you can put some alcohol on the cloth, okay. then that will help the cleaning process. And if I find, for example, a part inside the cartridge, for example, the insulator on the back side, and I see a, a burned mark on, should I, should I clean that part or should I remove that part immediately to avoid any damage later on? If, if there is any uh, burn marks on the isolator or yes. any other part of, of the cassette, you need to replace that. Yeah. Yes. So no, no advice to do any, any uh, maintenance on that part. Better to remove it immediately and to replace with a new part. Yes. To secure the job and to secure the production. Yes. Okay. If first there is a burning, the current will start to, f to flow that way and okay. you can't stop it and you will have stops on the line. So. Okay. So if I clean now the backing roller, what would you recommend to clean the backing roller? Again, a, a cloth and non-metallic tools yeah. and alcohol. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Same same like on the same like on the electrodes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Same same type of uh, liquid, same type of cloth or rag or yes. whatever. Yes. Yeah. You can use a little water and soap. Yeah. But you have to be sure that it's totally dry when it gets okay. back in or you have these flashovers. Okay. If if I have the need to change an electrode in the in the drawer in the cartridge. Yes. And I have to do that job. What is very important to check after I have changed the electrode? You need to check uh, first of all the the wires on the back that they are gathered in the center. You can as here use a zip tie. To, to keep them away from the side plates, yes. or the current can jump this way. Yes. 
And then you need to check the distance from the electrode onto the backing roller. Yes. And the correct gap between the backing roller and the electrode is, is how much mm you will recommend? It's 1.5 millimeters. Yes. Between. And, how, and how do you set the gap? We normally use a flexible zip tie that's okay. 1.5 millimeters thick. Yes. yes. And how do you do this job after you change the electrode in the cassette? We put the cassette in. Yes. And then we put the, the zip tie between them. Okay. And then a zip tie between, yes. so you know the yeah. the distance, distance. And then there are four Allen screws on top. Possibilities to set the gap to to okay. adjust Perfect. the it all Perfect. together. Yes. Perfect. And we have also encoders and limit switches in the system to secure the system as a safety feature. I have to maintain these sensors as well and have to check these sensors as well during yes. a, a period of time? Yes. Yeah. Um, if you have any problems, normally the sensors are quite low in maintenance. Yeah. They, they actually just work. But if there is anything, there is a few guides in our manual to to check the distance to, yeah. to the backing yeah. roller and... Yeah, and there's also written in the handbook, in the manual, the period, how, how often I have to check and how yes. often I have to do the yes. approval of these uh, encoders and sensors and how to do it and then in which period I have to do it. Yes. Okay. The backing roller is equipped with a carbon brush. What is the function of the carbon brush? The function of the carbon brush is to avoid any corona in the ball bearings. If the, the carbon brush isn't there, the corona will exist in the ball bearing and corrode them very fast. Okay, so that needs, means if the carbon brush is not any longer available on the backing roller, it needs to be replaced and we have to observe that from time to time. So carbon brush is a very important part on the backing roller. Yes, that okay. is correct. Okay, clear message. Yeah. The system is adapted with the blower for cooling down the electrodes and for exhaust the ozone. How much airflow do I need for such a system? Every time you buy a Vetaphone system, we will calculate the correct amount of airflow for electrodes and the power of the system, and you will always get the correct blower for your system. Okay. For example, Carson, and especially in high humidity countries, Sometimes we are facing the issue that we have humidity inside the system after a shutdown, after the weekend. What do you recommend to avoid the humidity inside the system? You can take out the, the, the cassette for the night, uh, for the weekend, then dry the system off yeah. when starting up. Okay. Or you can install a air dryer between the system and the blower. So the air dryer means you install a, a damper to close down the exhaust yes. pipe, which yes. is going outside? Exactly. Okay, this yes. could be an alternative. Yeah. So that means the customer should get in touch with you and contact to the service department to talk about this advice and how to do the job. Yes. Okay, so they should we, contact you. Yes, we are always available for advice at support at vetaphone.com. Can I touch the system during the process if the system is running? Yes, our system is totally safe and you will not get any current to you with, uh, with any part of, of the system when running. It's perfectly safe. Okay, that sounds good. So I'm safe. If I need a spare part, Carsten, can I contact you directly to get any dedicated spare part of the system? You are always welcome to contact uh, sales at vetaphone.com, support at vetaphone.com or our spare parts department at spareparts at vetaphone.com. We are always available for spare parts. Thank you so much, Carsten, for your time this afternoon here in the webinar for the service and maintenance questions. Thank you so much for your time. We are here now and we are open to answer now your questions in the Q&A session. Please do not hesitate to contact us now. We are here and we are glad to answer now your questions. Carsten is still with me this afternoon here. Please feel free. Please be happy and we are answering now your questions. Thank you so much.